Okay, so here's the update. If you don't know what's going on, I will fill you in. So 16 months ago now, um, my husband passed away and um, I got a call from a lawyer saying that my four kids had inherited a working cattle ranch. Um, and I'm a lawyer, so obviously we're going to turn that down because the will said that in order to inherit the ranch, we had to go there and work it for a year. And I don't know anything about ranching. Um, and so then uh, I thought I was on track to make partner at work at my law firm because I had gone full time after my husband passed. Um, and like right now, I'll turn around so you can see because we are here on the ranch and there's uh, my horses coming in because it's time to feed the horses. Anyway, everybody on here says, so, so I think I'm meeting with my boss um, to talk about making partner. And instead, um, he, uh, he tells me that he's been in love with me for, I don't know, years. Um, and that freaked me out. He said that he had waited to make sure that, you know, whatever, I was fine. Clearly not fine. So um, I decided instead of turning down the ranch thing to go ahead and take it. So here's Leo, uh, one of our horses. Um, say hi, Leo. Anyway, um, so here we are on a ranch. I don't think anyone really uh, was prepared. I certainly was not prepared for how much poop there would be. Um, so like to give you an idea, hello. Buckets of poop, so much poop. Um, but anyway, we're figuring things out. But on the day that we drove in not long ago, um, I'm literally driving in the middle of nowhere because this ranch is on the border of um, Wyoming and Utah. And so we're on our way here and one of the kids dropped something so I have to stop the car. And I happen to turn and look and see that the neighbor is mowing his yard shirtless. The guy has a six pack. And you know, I thought at first he was probably really young. so. I'm looking and I'm like, whoa, that guy's really good looking. He's in great shape. Holy crap, I think he might be my age. And then he turned and saw me. So he saw me staring at him, basically. I floored it and we drove off. And guess what I just found out today? I told the um, ranch hands that are helping us while we're trying to run this thing that I needed my kids to get horseback lessons so they can be safe to help with the ranch. And they said that the only horse trainer around is that guy. So I have to go down there now with my kids and be like, hi, yes, it's me who was oogling you um, with your shirt off. Uh, can you teach me and my kids horse lessons? So things are going great.